Namaste beautiful guys, welcome to Ali Kamanova Yoga, I'm Ali and today we are doing a sweaty fusion class. So let's get ready to flow with strength. Yes. Starting at the front, roll the shoulders back and down, lift through the crown of the head, chin parallel to the floor. A few deep breaths into the lower belly. Lifting through the crown of the head, relax the shoulders. Inhale the hands over the head, lift and reach, exhale diving forward. Inhale, look ahead of you and step it back, plank. To Chaturanga, up dog. To down dog. Lifting the tailbone and lower halfway down, so bending the elbows and lowering down so that we can open up the back. You can lower the elbows down and bring your head and ears between your triceps, widening the back here. Lift back up. Plank. and lower onto your forearms. You can lower simultaneously or one by one and lift back up. Let's take the right leg between the hands and take the left foot coming up to standing kick up and step it back, plank, opposite side, kick up, plank, right, kick up. Let's keep going. Straight back. Keep switching. Straight back, breathing. One more on each side. Finishing up and back to plank. And here we're gonna walk the feet to the front in low squat or yogic squat. Walk back to plank. Bring the right hip up, left hip up. And again, walk reversing the feet, left foot, right foot. Yogic squat. Step it back, shift the hips, right foot, left foot, yoga squat, step it back, left foot, right foot, and swing the hips, right foot, left, swing the hips, left, right, straight back, right, left. Right, left. Last one, left, right. Swing the hips and hold. And press back in down dog.
connect to your breath in down down dog mula bandha udyana bandha inhale the right leg up open the right hip on top of the left drop it back in wild thing and do a toe touch here left toe to right hand and reverse it back to one leg down dog let's do one more time one last time and this time step the right foot through come up high lunge five jump lunges one two three four five exhale down step it back left leg comes up open the hip step it behind toe touch reverse toe touch reverse toe touch reverse step it through jump one two three four five exhale down plank chaturanga up dog down dog spread the fingers open always remind yourself about the hand alignment building the wrist strong here also paying attention to the digits the toes the hands really enhances the poses it's the energetic lift of the pose let's take the right leg up open the hip drop it behind while thing lift really open the chest side planks crunch 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 toe touch 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 plank chaturanga up dog chaturanga down dog again hand alignment feel the pad of your thumb connecting with the floor oftentimes if you have wrist pain it could be poor alignment of the hands and poor alignment generally is the fingers are cupping too much and you're rolling on the outer edge of the hand far too much as I'm demonstrating wrong <laughs> demonstration now so really engage engage the entire hand you feel that also benefits your shoulder let's take the not just the wrist let's take the left leg up wow thing lift as high as you can really find space smile to side plank let's do knee to elbow 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 kicks 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 this time step the left foot through and we're going to do the jumps here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 exhale down plank
from here jump your feet on the outsides of the hands yogic squat plank 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 take the left leg on top of left foot on top of the right chaturanga press up jump your right foot between the hands straight back knee up jump and back to plank chaturanga jump in jump up and down three Four straight back. And five. Jump back plank. And hold. Squeeze. You can do a few hip sways and change sides. Chaturanga. Jump in. Jump up. Chaturanga. Jump in. Jump up. Few more. Three. Four, five, a few hip sways and plank and lower down onto your belly. Inhale, lift hands and legs off the floor, hold. Down dog. the feet to yogic squat transitional pose squat a few hops back to the back of the mat plop or drop your hands down in down dog take the right leg up while thing tabletop and let's lift the hips here one two three four five and reverse step it down left one two three four five reverse step it down plank jump into yogic squat grab a yogic squat come into a squat hop to the back two or three hops and plop to the front and take the right leg up tabletop or one-handed tabletop and here bring both hands behind fingers pointing directly forward jump your feet up ten times one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and reverse the hands 
come out of it, opposite side. Drop the hands, lift the hips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and reverse plank. Yogi squat. Come up, jump to the back. One, two, mini three. Up to the front, take the right leg up, drop it behind. In here, we're going to go one, two. So, jumping opposite, opposite hand to toe touch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, reverse it. Take the left side up. Now be behind. We're doing progressions here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and Come out, step it down, plank, yogic squat. Many of you probably don't know. I don't even think I've ever mentioned this before, which is weird that I wouldn't. Maybe I have. I used to work in progressive power yoga, so that's what it was. <laughs> Progressions. Come up and jump back one, two and plop back take the right leg up drop it behind table top drop both hands behind and we're going to jump out and in ten times one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 10, right hand to left foot, one, with a jump, two, three, really engaging the opposite leg, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and yeah. Step it out, opposite side, left leg, drop it, table top, let's jump, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, opposite side, you can angle your right hand fingers out, and let's go, lift one, two, three, four, Five, the burn, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, reverse it, drop it, plank, and you know it, squat, yogic squat. You can then go your feet a little forward, jump back, and plop forward, <laughs> for lack of a better word, drop forward. Take the right leg up, and drop it down, table top, and we're gonna do the 10 jumps out, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, alternating toe touches, one, jump, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10. Right hand to left toe with a little hop. One, two, three. Keep lifting those hips. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last effort. Ten. Good. And reverse it. This time, step your right foot through. Come up. Let's go for a total burnout. Jump one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Twist. Why not? Step it back. Left leg. It's coming. It is coming. Open. Drop it behind. Take both hands behind. In and out jumps. One, two, lift the hips. Four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Alternating. Toe touches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, left hand to right foot. One, two, push through the glutes. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, yay, reverse it, step it two. through, left leg, through, come up, let's go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and a twist. to plank plank let's jump in and out of the mat ten times one two three four five six seven eight nine ten jump your knees in and jump them out and in that's gonna be killer ten times and keep in mind that you're hovering your knees over the mat i'm right now resting because this is <laughs> becoming brutal one two three four five six seven eight nine ten jump them in one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Don't collapse. Yoga squat. We'll reverse the knees. Take a breather here. Really calming the breath down as if nothing is happening. All right, with a smile back. Back at it. Knees in, all the way in, behind the behind the wrist, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, squeeze the belly in, nine, ten, I'm dying, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna pretend this is easy, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, plank, stair jumps, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Drop onto your belly. Lift. So we're resting some of those core muscles, shoulders. You can even clasp behind, open. Active rest. 
while working the opposite side. All right, down dog. Here we're gonna do leg swing, pendulum. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Focus on those hip muscle strengthening. We'll do ten more. Take a breather. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Another breather. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Plank, yogic squat. Grab your yogic squat while you can. And you can bring your toes for a little more forward for a low squat. Let's pose here. So hovering over an imaginary chair, you can tuck the tailbone slightly down, toes forward, feet about hip width apart, and let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, step it out, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, lower it down, one, two, three, now pop your body back, step it in, one, two, three, four, belly in, nine, ten, jump it out, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, lower it down, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Goodness. Ah, oh, yogic squat. Yogic squat. Plank. Chaturanga. Up dog. Switching those squats. Mine are burning like you wouldn't believe it. Right leg up. Warrior two. Two, half moon, I'll do a ankle clasp, you don't have to, hold half moon if you want to. Warrior two, reverse it, side angle. Both hands on the floor, turn the back heel up and squeeze your knee into your triceps. Lift your belly up, lift, lift, lift. Step it back. Just run. Up dog, down dog. <clears throat> Inhale the left leg up. Step it through, warrior two. Ay, ay, ay. Reverse it. And you can shift into half moon clasp, maybe. Or it side angle. Plank, squeeze your knee in, do your left triceps, pull the belly in. Plank. And here we're gonna do 10 mountain climbers with feet on the floor, which is a little more difficult than feet off the floor. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Finish with the right leg forward. Step it through, come up, high lunge, jumps, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
lower down, plank, left foot in, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Step the left foot through, and you know what's next. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And step to the front and hop in place. This is the beginning of cool down. You can slow it down a little. Step at the front, we're gonna. You know I don't waste time in classes, I don't waste your time. More importantly, I try really to give you value for your time. So we're gonna cool down with ballet moves. You know those people that do ballet as a class? It's for us, it's a cool down. <laughs> Let's shift back. So really engage the body. Now, don't close the leg in straight, keep it open knee out to the side diagonally and squeeze. Bring your hand onto the upper booty to make sure that you're doing your isometric contractions. Eight, nine, 10, now straight back. One, two, three, four. You're gonna feel it all along the thighs. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, back to the original. One, two, three, four, really squeeze, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, back, one, straight back, two, three, squeeze, as hard as you can, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, straight back, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoo! This is stay definitely a bubble butt workout. And since I haven't done any of those, this is my, this would be my before. <laughs> Opposite side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Straight back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Squeeze. One, eight, nine, ten. Out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, then out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Step at the front, inhale, reach and arch, exhale, diving forward. <sighs> Inhale, look ahead of you, squat down, sit down onto your booty, stretch it forward. Plow pose. Well, poses essential for me. We all have poses that are essential to our body. Uh, yes, we're all different, and some poses work for some people and some other. Some don't work for other or work for other. Um, and we have to really tune in and learn to listen to the body, not rely on external 
feedback because that will always be inferior to internal feedback. That's what we're here to develop. Clear consciousness, uh, raw consciousness. When we strip the layers of um, cognition and we get to our soul consciousness or pure consciousness, when we view reality as it is rather than as it is filtered by the mind. So that is done through practices, different practices, shoulder stand. Because when we rely on the consciousness, we get really wrapped up and caught up in the ego and in the persona and in, and in really identifying with our thoughts. And that is a dangerous place to be. But I would say 90 or more percent of people identify with their thinking mind. And that estimate is purely <laughs> my estimate. I don't know what the percentage is. It could be more. And roll back or lower back down into plow. Stimulating the thyroid. It does stimulate the thyroid and balance it out if it's underactive and if it's overactive, it balances it out in my personal human experience. Roll out of this into bridge pose. Let's lift the hip side to side 20 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're gonna build <laughs> uh, buns of steel here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, lower down, soles of the feet together. Inhale through your third eye and really focus on the light and the spinning light there, the spinning uh, color light. Inhale and spin it, spin it yourself. If it feels murky, the color is not crystal, it is not a clear color, it is not clear light, then keep breathing through there, clarify it with your own energy. That is chakra work right there. Great. Bring your legs carefully with your hands up. Roll onto your side. Take one leg to the front in pigeon. Continue breathing through your third eye. Continue spinning, spinning the light. Turn to your knee. I'm stretching the left side, turning to the left. Let's grab the opposite leg, stretch it, stretching the quadriceps. Opposite side. Look over towards the knee. A few more breaths through the third eye. Great. Let's stretch the quadriceps. delicious and beautiful and sit at the front for a long or a brief self-guided third eye meditation you will you will have the freedom to take it as to do it as long as or or as short as you need to as quick you just focus on your third eye and breathe here in one Breath is enough, 100 breaths is enough, 30 seconds is enough, 5 minutes is enough, do whatever feels good 
and just give yourself that time and that treat, treat. and I thank you for joining me today remember to flow with strength and ease and I will see you soon namaste mm -hmm.